good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Steven with Freeze Peach Gaming. This should be a short one today, I hope. But we're going to be talking about YouTube removing the dislike button. They claim they're doing it for small creators, but I can tell you as the smallest of small creators that this isn't going to benefit me in any way. You know who this is going to benefit? This is going to benefit the major corporations, and it's going to benefit the White House. But we'll get into that in just a minute. YouTube has come out and said that they aren't going to remove the dislike button, they're removing the count that you can see from the dislike button. The claim is that this hurts particularly smaller creators when they see that their video gets disliked so much. I can tell you personally, this is from my personal experience, if I get 5 likes and 10 dislikes on the video, my reaction is, I got 5 likes! That's awesome! And if people want to hate bomb it, that's fine. I don't really care. As far as I know, that pretty much still works out in the algorithm in my favor. Either way, it still means that there's interaction, that people are willing to click on the video. In fact, my most popular videos are, at least one of them, has more dislikes than likes. And it doesn't hurt my feelings. I don't care that people don't like my video and they want to express that in their own way, that's absolutely fine. I remember when they took it off of Facebook, you used to be able to thumbs down stuff on Facebook, and now you can only just dislike, you can only like, or they did it on Twitter and people have had to work around it. You now have to ratio someone. You can't just dislike their video or their, their tweet. You've got to ratio them, which means you once again have to quote tweet them or do some, or comment on it and do something to push it out there more when they could just leave the dislike button. They could just leave it alone. Let people know that this is disliked content. Now, like I said before, they're claiming that they're doing this for the smaller YouTubers because you know, us small YouTubers, we just, we can't take any form of adversity. It's something that we can't handle in our fragile little hearts. And so Big Daddy YouTube has to come in and protect us. So what are they gonna do? They're not removing our ability to see the dislikes. They're removing your ability, the viewer, the audience. You're the one who's no longer gonna be able to see the dislikes. I'll still be able to go into the, the back end on YouTube and see exactly how many people disliked it, exactly how many, what the ratio is. And they're saying like, oh, well, you really have to go look for it. You have to click the analytics. You check the analytics, I mean, if you're making videos, you want to look at the analytics and see how are these videos doing, which content is getting the most interaction, and which ones do people like. You check the analytics. You're going to see, as a creator, how many dislikes are there. So that is obviously false, and they even tried to obfuscate that in their, their video that they do. Which, by the way, their video has 35,000 dislikes to 8.6 thousand likes. So, I mean, huh, we can speculate as to why YouTube wants to remove the dislike count, but I'll tell you why. It's speculation, but I'm going to pretend that it's not. They're doing this to protect the big corporations. Disney doesn't like it when they see that their Star Wars trailers get dislike bombed. The White House doesn't like seeing it when they get, you know, 1,000 likes and 110,000 dislikes every time putting President Joe Biden opens his mouth or craps his pants on camera again. They're, they're doing this to protect politicians and big corporations. YouTube has not been on the side of the small creator for years. As soon as they took the deal that they can get a bigger cut of ad revenue from the big corporations, from mainstream media, that's when they started going with authoritative sources. That's why when you watch, say, Steven Crowder's video, it's going to turn you over to seeing Seth Meyers. I don't want to see Seth Meyers. He's not funny. I don't like him. His show's boring. But every time I finish one of his videos, they're turning me over to Seth Meyers. Or they, they even turn me over to Fox News, which I'm not really a big fan there. I like Tucker, but that's about it. But that doesn't mean I want every other every other video I see that gets autoplayed to be Fox News. In fact, I've had autoplay off for months now because I got tired of it. And they do this because YouTube gets a bigger cut of the ad revenue than they do from smaller creators. They, they always claim they do this on behalf of the smaller creators, but it's never true. It's just like with taxes. They always tell you, this is going to be a tax on the rich. We're only going after the highest income earners. But the problem is, they could tax 100% of the income of the highest income earners, and it's not going to equal a fraction of what they could get from taxing 5% of the working class and the middle class. It's the same thing here. So they're claiming 
We don't want to harm the small creators. That's who we're worried about is the little people. Oh, it's the little people that us big corporations always think about. That's the only people we ever care about is the smallest of the small, the, 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 the tiny little people who need our help. Us big corporations, we have to help to lift them up. And we have to do this by making sure that they don't get any sort of adversity. But in reality, it's the big corporations. It's the incestuous relationships between social media and mainstream media and politics. They don't like it when they know that the people dislike what they're doing. They don't want other people to see this. It's not just that the White House is able to see that they get dislike bombed every time they put out a video. It's that the rest of us are able to see that nobody wants to hear what Joe Biden has to say. That everyone thinks he's a fool and that he craps himself. We don't think that. Well, we basically know it. Or that he likes to sniff kids. We can't talk about that either. So we're going to remove the dislikes. It's it's absolute bull. It's, it's corporate trickery. Anytime, anytime any big corporation or government claims they're doing something for you, the little guy, don't believe them. Do your own research. Think critically about it. Think, what is the financial reason that they would be doing this? If they think that it's going to direct more traffic away from the people who've been getting dislike bombed, if they think that Fox News and CNN and MSNBC are going to get more clicks or more autoplays because there's not as big of a dislike ratio seen on there, they're going to do it because they get more money. Either way, that is all I have to say for today. Have a wonderful day and never be afraid to speak your mind. What do you call a one-legged prostitute? Eileen, oh, waka waka. Where do you take her to eat? I hop, oh, waka waka.